Bloody hell. Touched the tapes over there by the looks of it, but they've all gone. Looked like somebody had touched the tapes, but they have all gone now. Into the first turn, and they, I think that's Phil Thomas that leads as they go to the turn. They're all together as they get in there. I think it's Rob Mears possibly falling. It was Phil Thomas that led. Graham Thomas in that second. So the perfect start for Phil and Graham Thomas. They are first and second. Gary Cook's in that third place. Rob Mears got lots and lots of room to get used to this circuit now. But he's also got a lot of ground to make up at the back. So Phil Thomas and Graham Thomas team riding as they come around this turn. Phil's on the inside. Graham's on the outside. Perfect start for them in this competition. Gary Cook is there, he's a partner of Gary Cook, so this is your point for him. Fourth place at the moment is Bill Sim, followed by Bill Smith, followed by Vinnie Smith. So, the checkered flag being made ready, it looks like it is going to be a 1-2 for Phil and Graham Thomas, the perfect start for this pairing. They come across the line together as they go past. Third place will be Gary Cook. Fourth yeah. place to Bill Smith, fifth place to Vinnie Smith, and sixth place there, number 318. Rings. Jake Mulford hasn't got off the start for some reason, that's a shame. Not sure what's happened to Jake Mulford, but James Shanes leads into the first turn. He's followed by James Peters at the moment in that second, with Will Thurby in third. So, what has happened to Jake Mulford? That is a big, big blow for that team. Three of these front three are in different partnerships, so the points are very spread. This is really falling into the hands of Ryan Kinsley and Daniel Broughton. It means that that big 20 point match at the end of that first race is going to be very, very vital here. It looks like James Shanes has changed that front wheel to something else that looks like something he would have run when he was a youth rider. Trying to have a good look at that front wheel as he comes past us. He takes the win though, James Shanes. Second place will be James Peters. Third place is Will Falby, so wide open points in this one. Gordon Walker finishes fourth and fifth place to Thomas Rowlett. Once again, we're in this race, number 16, sponsored by Graham Marsh. And this time we are away, and it's a great start from the outside. And they're taking up the lead, and their partners are just in second as they all slide into the turn. So difficult to get this right. You can see the passengers at the back. They, you lean over too much, you tip the machine over. All sorts of problems at the back, but at the front, no problems for Matt Fumo and Andy Wilson. They are riding very, very smoothly on these very difficult conditions. Jordan Williams on that steer frame. Completely locked up coming out of the turn. Joe Sturtridge in fourth at the moment. So the last lap flag being made ready. Richard Webb crawling all over the back of the machine. It's such a balancing act to keep the machine on three wheels. We've lost Jordan Williams at the top of the field. So there will be maximum 12 points for the partnership of Matthew Moore and Paul Whiteham in this one. Matthew Moore and Andy Wilson take the win. Paul 